Lies of P, a game that takes the story of Pinocchio, puts it in a Souls-like RPG, against the backdrop of an 1800s belly pock inspired fantasy setting. Your destiny. I know, that's a lot to process, but that's video games, man. Just taking a bunch of ideas and smushing them all into one genre-blending sandwich? Soup? Good soup. Do I play Demon Souls, Dark Souls, or Souls-likes in general? No, because I am bad at them. <laughs> Like, it's not even just that I'm bad at them, but it's like I don't even have the patience to try. As soon as I reach that point of failure where I realize I have to go back and replay a bunch, I'm just like, nah, doesn't respect my time. And yet, I play multiple MMOs. I just don't have a lot of patience. And it's a particular kind of patience and restraint, I think, that is required to play these games because you can't, you put one foot wrong and it's like, it's over so quickly. You lose so much, you lose so much. But when my incredible sponsor Lenovo Legion asked me to play the Lies of P for a video, I was like, absolutely, I will. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be so great. No, but in all seriousness, this game is so incredibly my aesthetic and I've been keen to give it a go since I first saw the trailer. And although I may die a lot and not make it past the tutorial area, I will do so for your viewing pleasure and for Lenovo. And who knows? Maybe I will find myself getting a little better at these kinds of games. Anything is possible. The twist. Okay, so to make it a little bit fun, I thought we would play a game on top of a game. At several points throughout this video, I was gonna do it every time I died, but I'm concerned that might be like every 30 seconds and then the video will be very short. <laughs> but at several points throughout this video, I'm going to tell you three facts about myself. Two of them will be lies and one of them will be true. Sounds easy? Well, you may be surprised. This video is brought to you, of course, by Lenovo Legion, purveyor of fine gaming laptops like this Legion 7i. It's got an RTX 3070. It's got an 11th gen i7 Intel CPU. It's got awesome cooling and battery life. It's slim, it's stylish. What more could you want? Why don't you just get a Steam Deck? Huh? So, uh, what? Because cool gaming commenter guy, I use this for a bunch of other stuff as well as gaming. I use it for video editing and live streaming. Yeah, it can do it all, but also. Yeah, that's happening. But this is not about that, this is about Pinocchio and destroying bad guys with a really sharp sword. Let's go! Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. What a strange setting for a video game. Gosh, it looks good though. I really want puffy shirts to come back into style, you know? Give me some like Mr. Darcy walking through a field. One of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the It is hotel. dangerous to go alone, take this. Oh, okay, select a combat style. <laughs> For a second there I thought I was getting difficulty options. <laughs> no, no, no. Path of the cricket balance makes the most sense because it's probably like you're an all-rounder. However, I do like to be faster and more nimble. So maybe if I choose Path of the Bastard that will play better into my typical approach to playing video games. Let's just do it. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a bad guy. So hard. Oh no. I'm already dead. I'm already dead. <laughs> I bet you I will come out of this and people will be like, uh, as far as Souls Lex goes, uh, it was pretty easy, and I'll be like, <laughs> I really have a lot of trouble timing blocks, you know? that really difficult. Gosh, it's pretty though, isn't it? It's beautifully lit. Oh, but if I lock on, they guard better. So they're all like reanimated puppets. Look at my shirt. Oh my gosh, I just noticed. I mean, I'm doing pretty well so far. Like, better than I thought, to be honest. Ah! No, sir. No, sir. Oh, good dodge, Ben Dixon. I'm already feeling a little bit more comfortable. Oh, no, I'm not. I can feel myself at equal parts learning and getting better and also knowing where I'm going to get frustrated and just bail out. Okay. Listen up. 
I was born in Australia. I was born in New Zealand. I was born in Denmark. So you think you know, but do you know? I don't know, do I give you the answer now? Or like, do I give them all at the end? No, we'll do it now. I was born in Australia. True. However, I grew up in New Zealand, so I lived in Auckland till I was like nine. So actually, I learned to speak the really thick Kiwi accent. Isn't that weird? Uh, and my family is Danish. Mit danske dårligt, men jalewe duolingo. Okay, so this is like Souls 101, I know, but I just like, I need a refresher. The guard takes your health away, but if you time it correctly, you get a bit of health back. So it's like incentivizing, you know, really going for the timed block. Which is just not a strength of mine, dead. Would you believe that I am dead again? No! I go in so confident once I have a good run and then like, I just mess up so badly. I don't wanna have to kill those dudes again. Through the door we go. I should definitely lock on, that's one thing for sure. Oh, come on, Stephanie. I'm just gonna focus on dodging and I'm just gonna chip away. Okay, we're playing it real safe. I have like fancy attacks, but like I'm scared to use them. This is good though. Oh, he's staggered. Fatal attack! Fatal attack! Do it, do it, do it, do it! Not even a boss, like literally just like the first slightly tougher enemy. But hey, oh, that feels good. That feels good. Proud of myself. Only because I feel like I learned. And it's so funny because I, I play video games like this and then I forget how to play in a measured way. Okay, well, look, that's not a death. That was a victory. So. Another couple of lies and a truth? Or maybe it's a couple of truths and a lie. Here it is. I was on the cover of an album for an Australian punk rock band. I was on the cover of a book about witchcraft. I was on the cover of a gaming magazine in the mid 2000s. I'm curious to know if you know this one. Put your scores in the comments, like if you want. You also totally don't have to. So which was the truth and which were the lies? The truth is I was on the cover of a book about witchcraft. That is me. My hair is naturally curly. I get it straightened, although it was much curlier when I was younger. And that is a famous Australian witch called Fiona Horn. And she wrote this handbook for teen witches. And when I was 15, I was all about white witchcraft and magic and the TV show Charmed. And it was just a whole thing. And you can tell by the way I'm looking at her that I'm just like, you are a literal goddess. And she was, and she was super nice. And I still talk to her to this day. So yeah. Punk rock album may sound like a weird choice, but I have been featured in two songs. One was by a punk rock band who wrote a song called I'm in love with a girl from Good Game. And then there was an Aussie hip hop band called The Funk Oars who had a song called It's All Good and I feature in one of the lyrics of that song. So I feel like it was like not that hard to imagine that I could have been on the cover of an album, maybe. A game magazine, uh, no, they didn't put people like me on the cover of the magazine. They would put like Lara Croft maybe or the chick from Heavenly Sword. Okay, back to it. The big door. This is good. If this was like the same as Sekiro, I wouldn't have even made it this far. Oh, imagine if I'd never opened these doors. That's sick. Man, talking about environmental design, wow. Stargazer. Oh, okay, this is like my uh, campfire situation. Dodge, Stephanie. Dodge, Stephanie. Be aggressive. Yeah. I wonder if um, I didn't choose the dexterity option if I'd be able to just like chain that many attacks together. Probably not. Oh, who's that guy? Oh, I know what this is, this is gonna be. This is gonna be, now you're fighting a beefy guy, but he does unblockable attacks. Yeah. No! Oh, that hammer smash is so intense. Half health. Ow. You would not survive like a hammer bong. I mean, I clearly didn't. I am now dead. I'm powering through, powering through, powering through. We are back at the guy and we are going to crush him. It's, so he gets really staggered though, so I really need to pick my moments. He's backing away. He's backing away because he's terrified of me. Let's go, let's go. <gasps> I'm too scared to charge attack. Can't I just tap tap a -roo? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, that was so stressful. But we did it. That's two hectic dudes we've killed now. Look at us. 
Look at us. The small wins mean a lot to me. Yeah, I know you guys are like powering through this game like it's nothing, but that was cool. That was cool. Maybe I'm a Souls gamer now. Maybe I just do this. Okay, last set of questions. Let's finish on these. Which are the lies? Which one is true? The first video game I ever played was a mud called Lensmore. The first video game I ever played was California Games on the NES. The first video game I ever played was Skyrunner on PC. I'll be surprised if many people get this one because I don't think I've given this answer that many times. I feel like the question I get asked the most is like, what is your favorite video game of all time? Not a lot of people ask what the first game you ever played was. Um, and the first game that I ever played was Skyrunner. My dad got uh, like a family computer, a PC in the 90s and it ran entirely on DOS. It came with a floppy disk. I think one of them was Qbert and the other one was Skyrunner. And then the one that I talk about all the time is Lensmore, instilled that sort of deep love for the kind of possibility of video games. So I talk about Lensmore and I talk about MUDs quite a bit. It was not the first game I ever played. I didn't play that till I was like 15 or 16. It is like hard to imagine now looking at Lies of P and trying to tell my childhood self, this is what games are gonna look like. This is what you're gonna be playing. Breaks my brain a little bit. Anyway, that was it. I feel like we accomplished a lot. We learned a lot about each other. We learned that the Lenovo Legion 7i gaming laptop can come with a 3070 GPU in it and like a bunch of RAM and other stuff that you'd need for your cool gaming adventures. We learned that I am still not brave enough to do timed vlogs and that I will dodge roll for eternity. You know, all great things. Thank you so much to Lenovo Legion for sponsoring this video. It's a beautiful game, and I think if you enjoy Souls Likes, you'll really enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.